Good morning, good afternoon, good evening for anyone watching in today. Uh, we welcome Yvonne Macker and myself, Narelle Walcon from Australia, and we are on Passive Aussie Girls. We are doing an interview with the amazing Kevin Rutledge today. So we welcome you, Kevin. We would love you to share with us a little about yourself and where you come from and your on Passive journey. So thank you. Hi, Kevin. Hey, hi, how you guys doing? Thank you, having, thank you for having me. Um, my name is Kevin Rutledge and I call Illinois home. I uh, was a carpenter for 27 years. That's how I spent most of my life um, and uh, enjoyed it a lot. It was uh, very gratifying. And uh, I came into on passive by way of a gentleman that I met uh, uh, about 13 years ago. I uh, started uh, looking online for a, a way to, uh, you know, even as a carpenter making, you know, pretty good money. I I still had times where I was running lean. So I, I looked online for a, a way to uh, make some extra money. I was very fortunate to find this gentleman who uh, was honest and ethical and he taught me a lot. And uh, I found out that uh, I wasn't very good at working by myself because I like to give myself a day off well, way too often. And, um, and I was very fortunate that he put on passive in front of me because it's uh, it's fully automated. It's made for perfect for a guy like me. It's made for everybody. And I couldn't be happier about my decision to, uh, to get involved. And uh, yeah, that's a little bit about me, I guess. Excellent, Kevin. Thank you so much for sharing that. I noticed that you sort of, um, you're in a lot of the on passive uh, Facebook groups all over the place and you do some amazing posts. Is there something that inspires you to do that or is it something that you've always loved doing? You know, are you artistic or, you know, you like creating things? Well, you know, I probably consider myself a little bit creative, you know, as a you know, carpenter, I've always been, I've always had a project, you know, but this, um, mean thing is what I call it. Um, it, it was a, it was uh, something that I got here from after I joined on passive. I, uh, I was looking for a place to, uh, as Marty says that we find our lane, you know, so I was looking for a way to give back, you know, contribute in some small way or, you know, and, um, yeah, I started making these, uh, these crazy memes, you know, I just putting on, you know, what I felt, you know, just, uh, tried to uh, express a feeling or a thought, you know, with an image. And uh, I don't know, kind of took off. People started liking them. It seemed like what I was doing was providing some kind of value anyway. So I kept doing it. And uh, lo and behold, it turned out I'm just having a blast. I love it. it uh, now I can't stop making them. So, yes. uh, I, lo I love it too, Kev, because I don't have to do it. I just copy kids <laughs> and share. Well, well, that's what I love the most about it. You know, when I see it out there, you know, it's just so cool. It's like, hey, I had a part of that. You know what I mean? And, and somebody took it and took off with it and did something else with it. And it's fun to see what they do with it, you know, and and, that, and that's what we do around here. You know, what you do sparks me and then I spark some something in someone else. And yeah, it's just a blast this is a this is the best thing i've ever been a part of it's it's just have a blast it is um a lot of people uh well over a million founders now and we each support mm -hmm. each other because we don't have to sell and recruit i think that's one of the biggest things that most people are looking for online you get to a certain age when you think nah i don't want to learn anything new i just want to be able to do something that'll bring me in perhaps a residual income so is there something that you uh, prefer or something that really stands out for you as one of those products or tools from on passive and couldn't you share that with us today well there's a bunch of them but um the thing you know the one the thing i want to get my hands on first is odit because we what we were just talking about that but then o connect we can't wait to see that um I could go on. Now, the, the, some of the products, you know, I mean, oh, counting. I'm not an accountant, so that doesn't excite me too much. You know what I mean? But uh, what the uh, market share excites me a lot when I talk about that one. But uh, no, there's a website builder in there I like to get my hands on. And, um, you know, that image uh, editor I'd like to get my hands on. And um, and I like to take a look at this uh, 
O-Connect, you know, it's the social network we got. And uh, yeah, it's going to be like a kid in a candy store, I'll tell you. It'll be a good time. More like a kid in a toy store, really. But, yeah. Yeah. I know they do say, actually, that, you know, there's many, many founders that probably won't use any of them. But God, I will. I, I will just, I can't wait to go through them and, and try them out, especially the one that will keep all your memories. <laughs> You know that that is exciting, isn't it? I mean, it, I if I didn't have a timeline, I'd be lost. And um, I I keep my own timeline. I have to. I just call it my daily roll. I just like you know, what did I do yesterday? I have to get reminded. You know, <laughs> I've reached that age. But uh, me no, too. It's a, of, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm meeting a lot of good people. You know, a lot of great people, just all over the place. And I like like what Narelle touched on. It's one of the best things that Mr. Mufara did for us was he taught us how to work together. You know, he took away the competition, everything you guys do benefits me, everything I do benefits you. It's a lovely environment to work in, I'm telling you. It's, um, it makes it a lot easier. You know, there's no stress. You don't have to build a business. You don't have to go out there, ring, or, you know, make that list as a lot of people say, you know, your family, your friends, and, you know, most of them are sick and tired because you have tried a few things online, um, if you're anything like me, you know, and yeah. um, how can you make a list and then, then you procrastinate and you think, well, this isn't going to um, work for me. And then a few months down the track, you know, you get a big bill or something like that. And all of a sudden that monthly fee that you have to keep, continue to keep paying, uh, all of a sudden becomes too hard to pay and you fall out of that business. And yet another one where you feel like a failure because you haven't been able to make it work like those above you. But the thing is, I found that most of those above you think that uh, if they just tell you what to do and you be or do just what they do, that it's going to work for you. Can you sort of uh, expand on that a little bit as to why that doesn't work? Well, it doesn't work because life happens. It's what happens. So uh, to the tell to tell to that doesn't work. Um, because um, I forget, you know, something comes up, you know, fill in the blank. Um, there's a million reasons why that doesn't work. We've solved that problem with automation and we're going to use AI along with that automation. It's going to take care of it. That's why we can say that this works for everybody because we're, very, we're paying the company to do all the work. It's going to work the same for you as it's going to work for me, as it's going to work for Norell, as it's going to work for y Yvonne. It's, we finally have, for the first time that I know of in history, a level playing field where everyone gets to you know, a fair shake where everyone gets the same opportunity, okay? Now, you know, we don't make income claims. We don't guarantee, you know, um, what's going to happen after these visitors arrive on your site. But I can tell you one thing, they're going to find the best thing that I've ever seen in 13 years is what they're going to see. And I think the conversion rates are going to be off the chart myself. But yeah, I... Uh, the products are off the chart. The people are off the chart. We're honest, ethical, and legal in, what, over 200 countries globally, US-based, private company, debt-free. I don't know what else you need to hear. And um, the best thing I've seen ever. And why do I, I mean, you know, I, I hold this up above my marriage, my kids, you know, my military career, everything that I've accomplished you know, every, you know, all the normal things you would look at and say, you know, these are the great things that I, these are great days, great accomplishments, whatever. And why? Because this is, affects everyone. This is more than just me and mine. This is the world. You know, this is everyone can be affected positively. Absolutely. You know, we can, you can join in and uh, yeah, I mean, we're going we're gonna to do some amazing things. Yeah, so talking about those amazing things, and I know in on passive we call them apples, but you know, those who come in for residual income and it will be paid for life, as you said, there's no guarantees, but we're absolutely, you know, 99.999% sure that those who come in will, you know, gain amazingly from on passive and the platforms and tools. But what is it that you want to um, do with your, um, you know, your finances with your apples? Um, 
I'm going to open a well. Open. I'm going to form a children's foundation. One thing. Um, when I met my wife, uh, she had a daughter, and uh, we lost her at three. And uh, it was a malpractice. I don't want to get into a lot of detail, but there was a a malpractice suit involved. We're, we had to. Uh, we had that conversation, what were we gonna do if we ended up with large sums of money, okay? And the foundation topic, she, that's what she wanted to do. Um, so I know I'm gonna start a foundation and it's gonna be about kids. You know, it's gonna be for kids. Um, but then I'm gonna form an LLC, a corporation. And, and that's pretty much gonna be, um, I'm, I'm pretty much gonna be a philanthropist. I'm gonna, be a direct line into O bless and, and really the only qualification that, that I need is that you're legit and uh, you qualify through O bless that's good enough for me. Um, we're basically going to be a hub. I'm going to try to wipe out as much pain as I can. And I'm going to try to set up something that continues to do that long after I'm gone. That's the goal. I'm going to... Sorry, I'm going to take thought. the example that Mr. Mafaro set and follow it. It's the yeah. short answer. That's beautiful, Kevin. And, you know, that's I think that's what's so special about On Passive is um, we have so many people that have got big hearts that actually want to pay it forward to do so much good in the world. So, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and, it's it's a beautiful thing to be a part of. I mean, it really is. I in the in the time, you know, um, you know, I've been here since October of eighteen when I first joined. And the and the thing that I regret the most is the early the early part of 10, 12 months, I don't know what exactly what it was, but I went and got a job. I didn't know what I had. You know, so I was working in a hotel, you know, hotel maintenance. And um when, you know, when I didn't even realize, you know, what we have here, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, that first year that I learned from that, you know, I, I, I missed that. And I'll tell you what, I'm not going to miss another minute. It's like when the penny drops, isn't it? Sometimes yeah. takes people a little while, but when it does, it's, yeah. It goes on forever. And I mean, I know we try to downsize it you know we have to we can't give somebody a drink out of a fire hose you know what i mean it's just you have to i mean we can't even we haven't even touched you know what we have here really we got to downsize this thing so much just so you can you know grasp it because we're not used to thinking like this okay we're not we're used to thinking we got to go out and work 40 hours a week to make 700 bucks a week or whatever it was you know and, and we're programmed to think that that's the only thing we can do. And that couldn't be further from the truth. And with the technology, the, you know, the uh, advancement in technology and, um, but really what it comes down to is the pure heart, the pure heart of our leader. None of this happens without that. As we finally got somebody at the top with, you know, the resources and the heart and, you know, and wants to do things different and, um, and has built the vehicle to do things different. And it's amazing. Absolutely. I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> Absolutely. I, really... I think we all pinch ourselves daily, you know, thinking, uh, oh my gosh, is this really happening to us? Now, I just want to ask just to touch on what you just said there about, um, you know, technology and things like that. Do you have any uh, advice, I suppose, like uh, coming from that mature age? For the young ones who might be thinking about, um, you know, if they can look at this, you know, I mean, technology has changed so much. A lot of uh, the younger generation were born into technology, unlike ourselves. You know, we had to learn it uh, at, at an older age, you know, where the mobile phones come into it and then computers and, um, oh, my gosh, we were sort of a little bit overwhelmed even with that. But these days, the young ones are born into technology. So, do you see any benefits there for the young people? Oh, absolutely. I mean, for, first of all, this is built for anybody. You don't know, you need a little thing. You can turn the computer on, you can be successful here. You know, ask us if you can drink a glass of water. Um, we, we, uh, 
you know, we accomplish that through automation. Automation works for everyone. Um, we're we're going to be kids in a candy store. I'm a boomer. I, I was 60. I turned 60 last June. Um, if I was 30, I would be a younger kid in a candy store. Or toy. I mean, they're going to be off. If they come in here and see what we got, and I can only imagine where our passive is going to be, say, in five or 10 years and to grow up. You know, to be 30 years old or 20 years old and grow up with on passive, like, wow. Um, that would be, I just can't imagine. That's just way out of my, you know what I mean? But I mean, think about that. Think, I mean, think about what it's going to do for us in the next five years. And then to grow up, you know, you're, you know, you're 20 years old and you grow up with on passive in your life, the whole, you know. Yeah, I mean that because it's just it's, it's it solves every problem, you know. Yeah. It, it's um it's built for everyone. It's it, you know it's a simple you know for someone who knows nothing about a computer, but it's advanced for someone who knows a lot about a computer, you know. So it's built for everybody. It's whatever uh, level you want to come in at. Yeah, absolutely. And we talk about you know people of our age. Uh, where we weren't born into technology we had to learn it along the way and every time they brought something new out we sort of oh my goodness what is this you know and you have to usually go to your children and say hey uh, you know can you help me with this what am I supposed to do here until you finally sort of learn enough that you can take over yourself but for those who are um, you know like I'm not quite sure in America but here in Australia you know, uh, there was no superannuation fund when I was young, and it, that only happened later on in my working life that I was able to, uh, you know, have a small, very small superannuation. Uh, over here, uh, you, if you were born from 65 onwards and upwards, um, there is no longer going to be a old age pension available for you. So people are, are having to live on their superannuation. Now, Again, if you come and you're from the generation when we were born, then, you know, how are people going to survive on, on less than what they've been used to as well? You know, they work their guts out. They've worked hard. You know, they've worked the 40 years or, you know, the, the wife may not have worked as long if she's, you know, helped raise the children because back then that's what they were sort of meant to do or supposed to do or, you know, that sort of thing. So how do you feel that the... Um, you know, that generation from that baby boomers and onwards is going to, um, you know, get what benefits do you think that on passive are going to have for those people? Oh, I think on passive is going to be the saving day um, because those um, most of that age group that I talk to and my kids fall into that age group, um, you know, they're not thinking about retirement. They're not thinking about pensions. And you know how thankful I am to have that carpenter's pension? And that, those don't happen anymore. You don't get jobs with pensions anymore. You get a 401k, um, health plan. Um, maybe you get some annuity or something you can pay into or you know, some kind of supplemental savings or something, but you don't get pensions. Those are gone. And um, yeah, if, um, I could give anybody any advice out there. If you're 30 something, start thinking about when you're 50 something and 60 something because the body won't hold up and the money won't hold up in most cases. Most, most people that are retirement age um, are wishing they had a couple more nickels to rub together because we're all, you know, and the health insurance is a big thing. The health insurance is off the charts. It's fine. It's not going down anytime soon. Groceries aren't going down. You know, gas is up and down, but the, these things are not I don't see inflation decreasing, you know, and um, who knows, who knows what it's going to take to live in five years. So I always say, you know, you know, plan, expect the best, you know, hope for the best and plan for the worst. And, you know, it's been pretty good uh, advice for me over the years. Unless you're in on passive. <laughs> you're on passive, you can scratch everything I say and just sit back and relax because it's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah. Really thank truly, you so much, Kev. It truly is an amazing <laughs> company, that's for sure. And I think uh, one of the things that we need to share with people is this is not like anything you have seen before. 
this is brand new. This is AI technology. These are products that have been built from the ground up. You know, it, it's hard for people, I think, that of any age to go, well, what does this all mean? I haven't seen this before. You know, can you show me anything or, you know, things like that. But the thing is, we haven't launched yet. And yet we have over a million founders. So what do you see in that, you know, like the fact that we've got over a million founders and we haven't launched yet? That should tell you something if you're paying attention. Um, a million people saw something and agree on it. Okay, so that should speak volumes right there. Um, I understand though, I mean, you, like I said, I've been in this space for 13 years and I've heard the stories and I've, you know, I've seen some of it and, and I totally understand you haven't seen this before and this is different and all that. Okay. And, and, but really that's the only way we have to tell you is it is different and you haven't seen it before because we haven't even seen all of it. As Mr. Murphur wanted to do something different. We are by design, we are different. And he put together an honest platform. That's where we started. We just wanted the honest marketing platform that was done right, right from the beginning, with a level playing field that everybody had a fair shot. And um, he knew that he could build something that was done right. And that's where we started. And then people recognized his benevolent heart and his, and it just followed suit, it just blew up. And then we turn into a million founders plus. And uh, because people recognize, you know, the honesty, um, they know they're dealing with someone who's filled with integrity, um, who uh, the sacrifices that this man and his family have made for the founders and for the world. I don't know too many people who would do that. I don't know too many founders who would do that. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I couldn't be happier about my decision. I couldn't, I've, I've never said this about a company. I feel privileged to be here, blessed. I've never said that about any company I've ever been a part of. This is more than a company, it's a movement. It's, uh, I don't know. I could go on. And when you when you're proud of something, <laughs> you just want to stand up and yell it out to the world, you know. And that's what I find with On Passive. Like you said, it's the only company that you found that you really feel privileged uh, to be a part of this down hmm. on the ground level into uh, you know being a founder within a multi-billion dollar company before launch. And I think each and every one of the founders within On Passive absolutely feel the same way. That absolute privilege. Um, you know, the, the honesty that we see from our CEO, the transparency, uh, you know, him coming on and talking to us as not only founders, you know, because this is his company, but as partners, you know, he classes each and every one of us as, as like a brother and sister, basically. So it is like one big happy family. Uh, okay, we're running to time. So Yvonne, do you have any more questions? Yes, um, you know, we have so much gratitude for Ash Mafara and his family. And um, yeah, no, it's amazing. And if you honestly want to get into this, just find the person who shared this with you, get their link and just jump in. So thank you, Kevin Rutledge, very much for coming on. And um, we really do appreciate your time today. Thank you, Avon, and you thank you. It was a blood. It was a pleasure being here. And, uh, Absolutely. Here. Yeah, we thank you. Uh, thank you for your time because uh, time is very precious. Um, thank you for answering our questions today, and thank you for sharing a little bit more about you, so that our guests and our founders can all get to know Kevin Rutledge just that little bit more. So, thank you once again for being here. Thanks, Kev. Bye bye.